Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying Vlogmas so far. I know that we are. Today I am going to be doing a kind of a newborn essentials video. Um, since I'm a new mom and I am fresh in this stage, I have a three month old right now. Um, I really wanted to document this because when we have another baby, I wanna know what were those things that we really used, like not even kidding, every single day. Um, and I wanna be able to help other new moms out there um, that if you're anything like me, when I was pregnant, right before I had Collins, I was watching video after video after video on what are those things that you need and some of these things I did take from those videos. Um, and so I just wanna be able to share those with you. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda go through them. I've made a list, I think I, have, I tried to come up with 10 things um, on my list and they're not in any particular order. I just listed them as they came to mind. And of course there's things that we have and that we used um, that I may do another video for or like what were my favorite things and not necessarily the um, like essential things. They were just things I liked having, they're extras. Um, so I might do something on, on those because there's tons of things that we have that I've loved using. But I'm just gonna list like the top 10 and show most of them to you. Um, so we're just gonna get started. I don't know if I need to look at my list. I think I've got everything, but we'll just have it here in case. The first thing I have on the list are the Dr. Brown's, closer, ooh, my phone just fell. Dr. Brown's bottles. Um, so at first we were using the Komotomo bottles and they're pretty pricey, um, but I loved, I thought they were cute. I liked the way they felt, I liked the way they looked and everything, but Collins did not like them. Um, well, I shouldn't say it that way. She liked them, um, but her tummy did not like them. So, I guess when she was about two weeks, and I had, so we're solely um, formula feeding, and around two weeks, I think she was two weeks old, um, she started getting really fussy after eating, and I was like, oh, you know, maybe we have a colicky baby. And, you know, we took her into the doctor. I think it was her two-week appointment, actually. And she was like, well, I don't really know if it's colic. Um, it might be a little bit of a reflux issue. So we tried a few things. And um, and one of the things were changing her bottles. And um, changing to the Dr. Brown's ones have been, like, one of the best decisions that we've made as a parent so far. Because it did not fix all her issues because she does still have the reflux issue but she wasn't screaming after every feeding, and I just really think they helped ease her little tummy. So, and they're so much cheaper and affordable. They're just really, really great bottles, and I t 10 out of 10 recommend them absolutely because they've just really, they've really helped us. And even um, like a few weeks ago, all of her Dr. Brown's ones were dirty because we go through them so fast. No matter how many you have, it seems like they're always dirty. But um, they were all her Dr. Brown's ones were dirty, so we tried a Komotomo one. And I mean, just even after an ounce, she was not happy. So, really, I guess maybe if you're breastfed and just feeding a bottle here and there, the Komotomo ones are good. And, you know, go for it. You know, I think they're really cool and looking and cute. Um, but I would totally, totally, totally recommend the Dr. Brown's ones because they've just been really awesome for us. And I've always heard really good things about them. I wish I would have just registered for them in the beginning instead of the other ones. But you live and you learn. So I want to take a moment out of today's video to mention that I am doing a collaboration with my friend Natalie today. Her kids are so stinking adorable. And um, she has tons of tip mom tips, cleaning motivation, all of the above on her channel. If you like anything about mine, I know you're going to love hers as well. So you should definitely head on over head on over after my video to check out hers and um, I'll leave a link to her channel in the description box below but I guess I promise you won't be disappointed in her channel and you should definitely um, hit that big red subscribe button on her channel as well so let's get back to um, the video for today so that's my first thing and my phone fell so I'm just gonna go through what I have sitting here the next thing are these little footy sleepers and I picked the Christmas one because it's vlogmas and it's the Christmas season. Um, but these things, 
she would sleep in or she would live in them if we let her so of course she sleeps in them every night but if we're just home this is what I'm gonna keep her in because she would so much rather be in this than any other type of clothing um, and I think that's pretty common about babies that's what I've always heard in videos that I watch and after having the little baby I see what they were saying now so I don't I'm not gonna necessarily say that I prefer zippers over snaps um, the snaps didn't bother me that much. I mean, it does a little bit harder in the middle of the night to change, I guess. But the zipper ones do tend to, like, bunch up in the front. Worse, well, I don't feel like the but the snaps ones do it at all. But, um, so that was the only kind of downside to the zipper. But these things are awesome. And this one's the Kiki Pants brand, and that's one of my favorites. They are a little more pricey, but they're really cute and soft. And she just, she's so cute in these. Um, so like I said, she would live in these and so I recommend stocking up on them. I did not think she would be in newborn clothes for very long. She surprised me with how long she was in them and we had to go buy more because literally that's all she wore in the beginning all day every day. So we ha I would definitely say stock up on them because unless you want to be doing laundry all the time, which you're kind of doing anyways, but I'm pretty sure we had like 20 of them. So... <laughs> They're totally worth it. And they're so affordable. Like the Carter's, I mean the Kiki Pants brand is expensive, but the Carter's ones are very affordable. And you can usually find them on sale. Um, the next thing I'm going to mention would be like Grive Water or like the Gas Drop. So we use the Mommy's Bliss brand. And this one's the Grive Water. The Gas Drops are in her diaper bag, but she's not here with us right now. So, um... I would recommend, I like, I kind of think I like the gas drops better than the gripe water, but we would just switch them on and off. So like I was saying in the beginning of her lifetime, <laughs> like the two, starting around two weeks up until like eight weeks, maybe six weeks, she, no, it was like six weeks. Um, we had some really long nights and some really hard days. It was just very miserable. Um, and gas drops were our lifesaver so it I just can't even explain I hated giving them to her because I just felt like I was shoving medicine down her throat but when it says um like instant relief it means it <laughs> um and I know there's a tons of gas drop brands out there and it, I, we've only used the mommy's bliss brand so I don't know how the other ones work but it's been a great brand for us the next thing, I mean, I wouldn't say, I mean, obviously you're going to have to have wipes for your baby, but um, I am a 100% believer in the water wipes. I'm trying to get to focus. Um, she's pretty much used these her all three months of her life. She, I, she's never really had a full on diaper rash. Um, it's gotten a little red sometimes, and the times that I got red, I didn't use water wipes. So, every baby's different, um, and they are a little more expensive, but they've been really great for her, and I enjoy using them, and I like that, you know, they're safe to, like, wipe her hands off or her face off or anything like that. Um, you know, there's just not any type of chemical or anything in them. It's literally, it's, it's, it's 99.9 percent water and a drop of fruit extract so I really like them I even use them like to take my makeup off sometimes if I'm gonna be honest so I really really enjoy these wipes um and I I I would recommend them but um moving on so we're this is the fifth thing um a swaddle blanket so this one is the copper pearl brand it's just purple I'm just plain purple but it's the perfect material material is what I want to say because it's like jersey and stretchy so it's easy to swaddle her in and it um it's not too thick so she doesn't get hot and it's not too thin so she doesn't get cold and it, I it's just I can tell she's really comfortable in it we actually only have one of these and hopefully for Christmas she'll get some more because we have to wash this thing all the time of course to keep her clean <laughs> um but the the I, I've never tried a different brand so copper pearl is just the only example that I have and they're pretty affordable I think they're like 24.95 or something for one um, but the 
I'm surprised there's not holes in this thing. I literally use it every single night. But, um, and it's just really easy to swaddle her in because it's stretchy. And um, we've tried sleep sacks. She didn't like it. We tried those little, um, I don't remember the brand, maybe like Swaddle Me or something, that it's kind of like a cocoon that she goes in, and then it like Velcros. Um, she did not like them. We've tried everything. She just likes an old traditional swaddle, and I'm, I'm for that. If that's what she's going to sleep in, then go for it, girlfriend. And then um, the another one I want to mention that I don't have... Um, with me because it's in her diaper bag and she is at Gigi's house right now um is a thermometer so we the first one we had I just got from Amazon and it did not work I'm just gonna be honest it was not a good thermometer it was it was just off on its readings and like I did my temperature on it and I was like there's no way um there's no way this is correct and so after her shots um that you know they always say that there's a chance that they're gonna run a little bit of a fever and i was like well i need a better thermometer because the one i have is not a good one and i want it to be accurate and so i will um maybe i can search it up on my phone and put it up to the camera um the one that we have it was a little bit more expensive but let me tell you it's so worth the investment um and it's actually a really cool thermometer like technology is really awesome. <laughs> Braun no touch forehead thermometer. 44.49. Does not be the same one, but oh. there it is. So like I don't even have to touch her head with it. So if she's like sleeping or something, I don't have to disturb her. And it works really, really well. So I believe it's accurate. I love it. So alright, the other things I have are kind of bigger. So this Boppy Lounger has been awesome for us. So we have the other type of Boppy. Um, we don't really get it or use it anymore, so I'm not going to recommend that one. But the Lounger, I absolutely would recommend. So because of her reflex, um, I didn't love laying her flat because she would get that congested sound. And so she has actually slept on this thing for most of her life. Um, and it's really comfortable for her. It keeps her a little inclined and she enjoyed sleeping on it. But now she's at the point where she's getting a little too big for it, which makes me so sad because she's getting big so quick. But um, if I'm awake and watching her, she can most definitely still sit on it. But if she's asleep and I'm asleep, um, I don't like her to be on it because she's starting to move around a lot more and she can kind of scoot scooch herself off of it so I don't love for her to be on it when I'm sleeping um so we've just started laying her flat again literally like two nights ago and she's doing she's doing good so far so maybe we're kind of past that stage um but she does still sit on this thing and I love that it is so mobile so she can sit on the couch next to me uh, when I was on my maternity leave I put her on this on my bed right next to me it fit in her bassinet um and it probably says to not let them sleep on it, but I'm, I just made my own rules, I guess, and let her do it, and it was really great for us. So, um, even if your baby doesn't have to sleep, you know, inclined or anything like that, it's still really good to have. I would put it on the kitchen table if I was in the kitchen cooking. Like, I just moved it everywhere around with me. So, um, I would definitely, it's not expensive. You can just register for it, and, um... It's been a really good gift for us, a good thing to have. And then another thing that we had this when she was a little bit younger, like when she was first born, um, and she was sleeping flat. So when she was sleeping flat in the beginning, she used this and slept like an angel in it. Um, and it's the Snuggle Me Organic. Can't really tell because it's a white, like an off white cover, but. Um, it fits perfectly in her bassinet. It snuggles her. She loves this thing, and I love it too. And again, kind of like the pop boppy lounger, you can move it around with you. Um, sometimes she'll take a nap in her bed, and I'll put this in her like actual crib. Um, but it's it's similar to the Docatot. Um, we don't own a Docatot, so I can't speak for anything that the Docatot does. But this, um, 
I just feel like it snuggles them a little bit more. Um, she loves to be held, which is partially my fault, but she loves to be held. And so I feel like this really snuggles her and she just looks like a little burrito in her little pillow and it's the cutest thing. Maybe I can get a clip of it tonight. Um, ugh, I just love it. But she really, really loves this thing and it, it was a little more pricey, but it's cheaper than a dog tot. And I think they just came out with a toddler one. So I'm excited about that because we don't have to stop using it. Um, and she's almost outgrown this one. She was so little in it before. But yeah, so it's just like a little round pillow. Um, and it's it's comfortable for her. And I just want her to feel secure. And I want her to be comfortable when she's sleeping. And I really think that she is in this. So the snuggle me. And then the other two things I can't really lift up and show in the camera. So I'll just have to insert a clip of them. But one is her bassinet. So we have the halo. You can kind of see it right here next to me. We have the halo bassinet. And I love this thing. Um, again, it's a little more pricey. But worth the investment. It, um, It's the best thing ever. So just like even looking at it, I just love it. <laughs> the snuggle me fits perfectly in it. The um, boppy lounger fits in it as well. And I, it's just so easy to have her right here next to me when you're a first time mom and you're panicking every single night um, about your child and looking every two seconds at them to make sure they're still breathing and they're comfortable and all of, all of that mess. Um, it was so nice to have, just have this literally right next to my bed and we have a higher bed. So it raises, it literally is right at the even of our mattress. So that's an awesome feature about it. Another really awesome thing is like for me when I was had just had her, um, getting in and out of our bed was a challenge when it, because it's higher. Um, but I could just like move it over and get out and go do what I need to do and then come back and get back in the bed and move her right back. Um, so that was another really awesome thing about it. And then it does have like buttons and stuff on it. We don't even have batteries on it so we've never used that those features of it um but i just feel like it's a really awesome bassinet view i really love this thing and like the side i mean you can kind of see it right there um it kind of like pushes down so that you can lay her down gently and not have to i don't know i just love everything about this bassinet there's a little bit of storage on it and um i'm gonna be really sad the day that she's no longer in this with us I, i'm gonna have a really hard time with that but um, the Halo bassinet has been awesome. So the last thing, um, which is I guess the tenth thing, um, that I have is the Rock and Play. So she has never like slept in it through the night. I know that some people use that as their like bassinet, um, but she pretty she still sits in this thing every. All of the stuff that we have, minus the like gripe water and gas drops. I use every single day and I've used them every single day since the day she was born to now. So, um, and occasionally we still do use the gas drops. I always keep them in her bag just in case because you never know. Um, but the rock and play, she still sits in it and loves it. And we have the automatic one. So you literally just push a button and it rocks for you. Like whoever came up with this thing, I mean, it's made by Fisher Price, but whoever invented it is a genius. Um, she loves it. She absolutely loves it. And it's very convenient for us as well. Kind of like the Boppy Lounger. Um, it's very easy to move room to room. Um, she has like a big swing as well. And she's getting to the point now where she's enjoying to sit in that a little bit more. Um, but she didn't really like it in the beginning. She definitely preferred the Rock and Play over it. Um, but I can move it to the bathroom when I was getting ready. I can move it to the kitchen if I'm washing dishes. I can move it to the living room if I'm laying on the couch. I sometimes bring it in the bedroom. Um you know, while I'm getting ready or something, like, or if I'm laying in bed and she's not necessarily sleeping, like, literally can move it everywhere. You can travel with it because it folds up. So it's an awesome little gadget. And, um, she loves it. She still sits in it. So I would recommend the Rock and Play for sure. And I'll, I can link the one I have in the description box below. And of course I'm going to insert a clip of it too, but that's all of the things that I have for like my top 10 essentials. Alright everyone, that is it for today's video. 
Um, if you have any other things that you recommend, um, you can leave them in the description box below. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope it helps um, new moms out there that are about to have their baby. I remember right before I had Collins, I was just stressing. I was flat out stressing about everything. And turns out newborns don't really need a whole lot because they just sleep all the time. Um, but I really, really hope this video helps you out and um, and that you can, it can put a little piece at mind for you knowing that you don't need to have everything perfect. Um, you don't need a whole lot. You just need a few things and a lot of love. Um, so if you would give this video a big thumbs up. Um, push the subscribe button, turn your bell notification on, and we'll see you all tomorrow.